we thought we would have a discussion on how we're we're experiencing technology, cell phones, computers, uh, in, in this episode. So, um, so I, um, I, a client actually said, "Hey, uh, do you realize that people pick up their phones an average of eighty times a day?" And uh, I thought, "Oh, that's ridiculous. I don't pick up my cell phone that much." And so the next day I was like, oh my God, I'm picking it up like constantly. And I'm like, what am I, what am I looking for? What am I? And of course my phone beeps every time I have an email, every time I have a, a text, the only time that it gets really shut down is in sessions. So it's like, what the heck am I doing? How, how did this happen where I'm linked to my phone? We did a, I did a training. It was an attachment based you know, trauma treatment training. And the very first thing, first intervention, the the facilitator did, she said, okay, everyone get your cell phones out and pass it to the person next to you. And the whole thing was, what, what do we notice? I, I noticed I started getting upset. Um, you know, I'm, it, this is attachment. I didn't even think I realized that I had with my phone, some strangers holding my phone. It felt really uncomfortable. I didn't want them having I, in there. I feel weird holding someone else's phone. I don't know. It was just this whole thing, like how connected we are to these. Like you said, Wendy, how we pick these things up and it doesn't have to be just a cell phone. There's all kinds of devices we can be connected to, but just how you know, even, even if let's say, let's say I'm taking a, a mini break and I'm, I, I, the restroom for, for my office isn't in the, in my, my, my suite, I have to go down the hall. Do I just walk down the hall and go to the restroom or do I pick up my phone? And as I'm walking, look at what's going on on my phone for two seconds. Most more often than not, I'm going to pick up my phone instead of just kind of mindfully being in the moment, walking to the restroom. And I don't know about you guys, but that's, it just seems like this sort of knee jerk ingrained response. Yeah. I'm thinking the devices, Dan, what you said about the attachment piece, <clears throat> I found that really striking. <clears throat> and what was coming to mind is our devices become an extension of us. You know, I depend on my device. I depend on it to remember things I can't remember. And I, I definitely use it as a tool, but it, I realizing it's a personal extension. And, and if I were to be in a training, like you said, and someone, everybody hands their phones to the left. I would be looking at this other person's phone of, oh, that's not mine. That's that's theirs. That's that's their special something. Um, because I really do depend on my devices to help me get through the day, get through work, um, manage me a little bit more, keep me organized as well. Well, and that's the that's the benefit. I mean, we can we we can have access to information. You know, I, I find myself watching TV and there's an actor or an actress. It's like, I know them from somewhere. Where do I know them? And I, I find it very satisfying to look them up on my phone and like look through their 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 movies and TV shows they've done. Oh, that's they were that character over there. That's where I know them from. And, it, you know, that that kind of stuff is fun. You know, we can communicate more effectively. We can do these podcasts and people can listen to us on their devices. There's all kinds of really wonderful information benefits that come from it. And we can get lost. I, I know for myself, I have to pay attention to, to YouTube. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, I'm glad you're there. But YouTube is problematic <laughs> too, because, I, you know, uh, my YouTube feed is like a whole bunch of stuff. And do I want it? Do I find it? I Sometimes I get in that space where I'm just watching it, not because there's something that I really want to see, but it's just going to escape, which for me, I have to be careful because that's sort of walking into my addiction patterns. And, you know, there's, there's a, there's a whole piece here that we have to be careful with. Uh, I heard somewhere, I don't remember where I heard it, but somebody was saying that, you know, future generations, when the history books are looking at this particular time, the history books are going to say, what was this generation thinking? Look at how backwards this generation was letting their kids have access to these kind of devices at such an early age. You know, it's funny, Tim, because I actually... I hear sort of the opposite of that sometimes, which is when they look back on our generation, they will think how backwards we were because so much of social interaction, which I think is a very large concern, so much of socialization has moved online. And I think I'm, I have a lot of concerns about kids replacing in-person social interactions with online social interactions. 